Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me uh, to celebrate Neighbourhood Cows Week this week. Um, so we're going to start off lying flat on your backs. And if it's comfortable, closing your eyes, we're going to take three big deep breaths in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. And when we exhale, let's try to release anything we don't need, any worries, any stresses, any tensions from the body that we can let go of, let's try to release it with the exhale. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Last time, in through the nose and out through the mouth. So welcome. And uh, thank you. Thank you for spending the next hour with me. Thank you for giving yourself the next hour. And now's a good time to thank yourself. So for the next hour, there's nothing else you need to be doing. There's nowhere else you need to be, but to be in your bodies, on your mats. It's your chance to get out of your head when most of us spend most of our time. So get out of your thinking brain and into your feeling body. So let's start there. Let's just take a moment before we start moving to check in. Check in with yourself to, to notice how you're feeling today. And let's start with the physical body. Let's do a quick body scan. We're going to start with the toes, working right through the feet, through the ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, arms, neck and head. So as we went through the body just then, what did you notice? Were there any injuries? Were there any tightnesses or sore spots? Just take a, a mental note. And if you do have any injuries, any sore spots, just take it easy. So this is your practice for your body. And if anything doesn't feel right, come out of it straight away. So let's start with some breathing. Let's take hands to your belly. So we want fingertips either side of the belly button. And all I want you to do first of all is just to notice your hands against your body. Um, and what can you notice? Are your hands cold? Are they warm? And maybe you could notice the, the texture of your shirt that you're wearing. And then I'll ask you to breathe into your hands here. So what we're trying to do here is encourage the breath to lengthen and encourage the breath to deepen. We're encouraging a full inhale and a full exhale. We're encouraging breathing from the diaphragm, with the diaphragm. And our diaphragm is our breathing muscle. You'll notice throughout class, I'll quite often say, breathe from the belly. And this is what I mean. A nice, long, slow inhale, long, slow exhale. When we breathe in this way, you should also notice some movement at the belly. Belly rising on the inhale as the lungs fill with air and belly falling on the exhale as we ex expel all the air out of our lungs. And then let's take hands up a little higher to your rib cage. So again, first of all, just noticing hands against the belly. What sensations are there for you to notice? And now I'm going to ask you to breathe into your hands here. What we're trying to do is to isolate the middle part of our lungs, just using that middle section, the thoracic area of the spine. And 
again, we should be able to notice some movement as we breathe in this way, but this time it's ribcage expanding out sideways on the inhale and falling on the exhale. And then let's take hands up a little higher to your chest to just below your collarbones. And again, first of all, just noticing any sensations that are there for you to notice. And breathing into your hands here. So this is now a short, shallow breath. This is where we breathe from when we're worried, when we're anxious, when we're feeling overwhelmed or Get even irritable. This is where we breathe from when we're in fight, flight, or freeze mode. So just notice if there's any uh, emotion attached to this. And then we're going to take hands by your side. We're going to combine all three types of breaths into one full yogic breath. So it'll be like a wave, starting with the belly, moving away up through the middle to the upper and then exhaling. I'm going to count you through three rounds and then I'll ask you to do three more rounds in your own time if my counting may be a little bit fast or a little bit slow. And we'll take seven counts. So the first four is for the belly, the next two is for the middle breath, and then the last count finishes it off and then starts the exhale. So let's just take a preparatory inhale and exhale. And let's breathe in the belly. Two, three, four, middle breath. Two, upper, exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, belly breath. Two, three, four, middle breath. Two, upper, exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, belly breath. Two, three, four, middle breath. Two, upper. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more rounds in your own time. And then when you're finished, let's hug knees to chest. And maybe you like to make circles with your knees. And if you do, making sure you go in both directions. So going clockwise, anti-clockwise. And then rolling onto your right side and coming up to hands and knees to start with. We're gonna start with a couple of rounds of cat cow, cat cow warming up the spine. So we want knee, uh, hips over knees, shoulders over elbows over wrists, pressing the palms into the hands, spreading your fingers. So then we're going to drop the belly, inhale, look forward, exhaling, pulling belly button to spine, curving and grounding. So inhale, we want chest forward, looking forward, exhaling, curving, rounding, expelling all the air. Inhale. And exhale. So we want long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine. Now we want to make circles with our belly button. So imagining that you have a hula hoop around your torso. And we're going to try and touch the whole inner edge of this hula hoop. So making circles with our belly button. 
and then let's go the other way. So making sure we're going both directions. Beautiful. Then coming back to a neutral spine and let's extend the right leg behind. So we want to try and keep the hips square, core engaged. Now you can stay here or if you'd like to add the arms, the opposite arm. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee in, curving around. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. And now I'm going to hold, hold, hold. Beautiful. Let's go the other side. So extend the left leg, squaring off the hips, engaging the core. You have the option to add the arm in. Opposite arm if you do, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee in, curving it down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach, and we're gonna hold, hold, Beautiful, coming back down. Now we're going to walk the hands forward. So we're aiming to keep the thighs vertical. So we're just going to walk the hands forward. Then either bring your forehead to the mat or chin looking forward. So it's a big underarm over. I call it puppy pose because it looks like a mini downarm. It's also a chest over. Try to breathe deep into the belly. Beautiful. And then let's walk the hands back. So now I'm going to try to tuck all ten toes and come to sit on our heels. So coming into toe stand. And then let's take the arms out to the side on the inhale. Exhale, I'm going to cross right over on top of left and seeing if you can intertwine the arms to come up to eagle arms or hands to shoulders. Whichever variation you're in, I want the shoulder blades rolling down the back so there's no tension in the neck at all. If you have eagle arms, we want elbows up, hands away from the face. Hands to shoulders, we want elbows Beautiful. Inhale. Let's go to the other side. Exhale. Cross other elbow on top. Either coming into eagle arms or hands to shoulders. Shoulder blades rolling down the back. The neck is free. And then breathing into the belly. Seeing if we can soften our expression. Beautiful. Let's release. And then let's come forward, releasing the toes. You may like to make little circles with them. Just, and then coming to sit on your heels, knees a little bit wider, and reaching the arms forward. So either forward to mat, or making two fists, forward on your fists. So this is child's pose, and this is your resting pose. So if there's at any stage you need to rest during today's class, come down and rest in child's pose. And give yourself permission to do so if I need to rest, I'm allowed to rest. All right, for now, let's reach the arms forward as far as they can go. Press the palms into the mat, spreading your fingers. Let's come up onto your knees and let's tuck toes. And then we're going to push back the hips as high as they can go. So this is downward facing dog. I always like to have a little pedal of the feet for my first down dog. Maybe you would like to twist the hips and heels before settling back into it. So we want feet hip width distance apart, inner thighs reaching towards the back, hips are high, really grounding through the arms and lifting up. Beautiful. And now we're going to come forward into plank. So really pressing down through the hands, looking up in between the shoulder blades. We've got strong legs, strong core, strong arms. And then pushing back into downward facing dog. Let's take knees to the mat. We're going to bring right foot forward. So bring the foot in between the hands. Really grounding through this front foot and lifting up. 
We want to keep the hips square, or the core engaged, lifting up out of the lower back. You can stay here, or you can add the arms, you can sweep the arms forward. Beautiful. And then what I'd like you to do is try to focus on breathing into the belly and softening your expression. Grounding through this front foot. So pressing down and lifting up. So the legs are engaged. And then let's take hands behind. Interlace the fingers. Opening the chest. And taking a big deep breath. Then let's release the hands, placing in either side of the front foot. We're going to lift this back knee and pushing back into downward facing dog. Big deep breath into the belly here. Let's come forward into plank. So again, pressing down through the hands and the feet, lifting up in between the shoulder blades, strong legs, strong core. And then pushing back into downward facing dog. And let's take knees to the mat. This time we're bringing the left foot forward in between the hands, a little helping hand if you like. Grounding through the front foot, lifting up, squaring off the hips, lifting up through the belly, lifting up through the lower back, sweeping these arms forward. Very pressing down into this front foot, engaging the legs. And then breathing, we're still breathing. We still want to be breathing deep into the belly and soften your expression. One more. Beautiful, and then let's take hands behind, interlace the fingers, but then we're going to change the cross. So the other finger is on top, opening the chest. Big deep breath here. Beautiful, let's release the hands, plant them on either side of the front foot, lifting the back knee, let's push back into downward facing dog. Big deep breath here, hips as high as they can go. And then let's come forward into plank. We're going to lower the knees, keeping the elbows close to the body. We're going to come all the way down. And then shoulders rolling down the back. We're going to lift head, heart, and hands. And then we're going to grab our right shoulder, our left shoulder, going back to center, hands under shoulders. And then we're going to engage the core to help lift up, tuck toes, pushing back into downward facing dog. Big deep breath here. Beautiful. Then we're going to bend the knees and walk the hands back. So the knees can be as bent as you like. You want to feet under hips, sits bones towards the ceiling. I like to take thumbs to elbow creases for a gentle sway of the torso, gentle shake of the head. And then let's release the arms. I'm going to roll up through the spine. So bending the knees deeply, letting the head and arms hang, slowly rolling up through the spine, inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra, until we reach the top. And we're going to shrug the shoulders and sign it out. Ah, beautiful. All right, so come to the front of your mats now. We want feet and hips. So outer edges of the feet parallel. So this is big toe mount, little toe mount, inner and outer heel. So they're the four points of contact. Let's lift the toes, really pressing down into those four corners of the feet. Now we're gonna do some toe drill. We're going to replace the toes back onto the mat, but one by one, starting with the little toe, placing them down. Beautiful, let's do it one more time. Lift the toes, spreading them as far apart as you can, replacing them onto the mat one by one. Beautiful, all right, now let's bend the knees. Now it's about finding your grounding. 
Finding your foundation, all standing poses come from your feet. So finding your connection to the earth. And then once you do, straighten your legs. Spine lengthens, chest broad, shoulders down. So we want the back of the neck long. We want to try to avoid this, but also this. So long neck, chin in. So this is Tadasana, this is mountain pose. And let's take the arms out to the side. So inhale the arms up and then shoulders down. So when I say outer underarms hugging in, this is what I mean. So outer underarms hugging in. So the shoulders are down, which releases the neck. There's no tension in the neck here. Let's grab hold of the right wrist. We're going to go for a side stretch. Inhale up, complete side stretch. Beautiful. So we want the weight. Still evenly distributed between the feet. Inhale up. Let's go to the other side. And exhale. Beautiful. So we've got the lower chest coming forward. So we're getting right in between the rib cage here. Inhale up. Let's go one more time. Inhale up and over. Inhale up. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Now we're going to bend the knees. Exhale, fold forward. Now we're going to take hands to shins. Look forward so we're arching the back, looking forward. Inhale. Exhale, folding. Ground through the feet. Arms out wide. We're going to lift up. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, the arms up. Bending the knees. Exhale, folding forward. Hands to shins, inhale, look forward, exhale, fold in, grounding through the feet, inhale, lifting up, and exhale. So we want slow, steady, even breaths, and we want the movement to match the quality of the breath, so slow, steady, even movements. One more time. Inhale, arms up, bending the knees, exhale, folding forward, hands to shins, inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, folding, grounding through the feet. Let's take the arms out wide. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale. We'll continue on this one. Inhale, arms up. Bend knees. Exhale, folding forward. Hands to shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding. Let's take your right foot back. Inhale. Planting the hands, pushing back, exhale. And let's take two big deep breaths here. So we want feet hip width distance apart, inner thighs, reaching back and hips are high. So if it's your first class, quite often you could be like this. So we want to push back into so the hips are high. And it doesn't matter where the heels are, they can be as high as you like. Beautiful. Then let's come forward into plank. Knees can be on or off the ground. Let's lower all the way down. Shoulders rolling down the back, elbows tucked. Pressing down into the hands, coming up into cobra. Pushing back, downward facing dog. Big deep breath. Beautiful, let's take knees to the mat. Let's bring right foot forward. So you have the option of staying with the low lunge, which is what we've already done. If you'd like to do the high lunge, lifting the back knee. Really grounding through the feet, core engaged, coming up into your tip of your fingers, heart reaches forward, and then sweeping the arms up. So try and keep hips square. Lifting up the belly and the lower back. Beautiful. So high lunge, really grounding through the front foot. And then breathing from the belly, softening your expression. And one more breath. And then let's take left hand onto the mat, right arm sweeps forward, makes a circle all the way around with the shoulder. Let's plant the hands and let's push back into downward facing dog. 
Big deep breath here. Let's take knees to the mat, left foot forward. Little helping hand if you like. Ground it through the front foot. Remember you have low lunge or high lunge option. If you're doing the high lunge, lifting the back knee, grounding through the feet, arms sweeping up, squaring off the hips, lifting up out of the lower belly, and breathing. Breathing from the belly, softening your expression. Shoulders are down, our underarms are hugging in, and lie from these fingers. Really grounding through the feet, strong legs, and then the arms are light, the arms are reaching. And then let's take, this time, right hand down, left hand sweeps, makes a big circle with the shoulder. And then let's plant them, pushing back, downward facing dog. So big deep breath here, breathing deep into the belly. And then let's come forward into plank. So knees can be on or off the ground. We're going to lower down in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's reach the arms forward. Now we're coming to locust pose. So what we want is to reach right arm, left leg to the front and back wall before lifting up, lowering down. Left arm, right leg. Reach, lift, and right arm, left leg. Reach, lift, and left arm, right leg. Reach, lift, and all right, both arms, both legs, up, and down. Last time, both arms, both legs. This time, taking the arms to the side. This is my favorite. Superman, I imagine I'm flying. All right, hands are under shoulders, top toes, elbows tucked, engaging the core to help lift up. Downward facing dog. Let's bend the knees. Right hand between, uh, sorry, right foot between the hands. Inhale here, and then we're gonna push off from the back leg, to come forward, hands to shins, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, folding, ground through the feet, arms out wide, inhale, the feet up, and exhale. Beautiful. And let's just pause here for a moment, closing your eyes. I want you to notice anything there is for you to notice, any sensations running through your body, Hopefully you're a little bit warmer. Maybe you can notice your breath. And maybe you notice your soft talk. Are you critical or encouraging of yourself? And let's try to notice all these things without judging. So now coming into the middle of your mat, we're going to take a big step out to the side. So roughly our feet on the hands. Then we're going to take the right foot, aim it towards the top of the mat. Left heel, angling out a little bit. We're going to bend this knee. So we're aiming for the shin to be vertical. And we want the knee in line with the toes. So some people may need to bring that knee back a little bit. So knees and toes aiming towards the front of the mat. <sighs> Leveling off the hips, reaching the arms out. So shoulders rolling down, arms reaching. And the gaze is just past the front fingers. So this is warrior two, the Virabhadrasana two. Again, breathing from the belly, soft expression. straight in this front knee. So now we're going to come into triangle pose. So really grounding, lifting up, 
Side body long, inhale. Exhale, we're just going to reach as far as we can go. And then windmill the arms, and that becomes our triangle. So really grounding through the feet. You want thighs engaged, so lifting the kneecaps. You want the lower chest coming forward, upper chest broad, arm reaching towards the ceiling, life from these fingers. The head will be either looking straight down, straight ahead, or straight up. What we don't want to do is to lose it completely. We want the neck to be in line with the spine. And then breathe. At least you're breathing. And then we your next inhale. Let's use these top arm to help lift us up. Beautiful. And then let's swap sides. Toes pointing towards the back of the mat. Back heel angling out. Let's bend this front knee. So again, knee, toes, pointing towards the front. Lengthening the hips. So if your knee is going over, I want you to widen your stance on up here. So we're aiming for this to be vertical. Arms reaching, shoulder blades rolling down, and arms reaching. So you're looking past this, these front fingers. So warrior two. Very progressive as you Breathing from the belly, softening the expression. Beautiful. One more breath. Now let's straighten the front knee. Inhale. Exhale, reach. And then wherever you are, just windmilling the arms. Grounding through the feet. You want thighs engaged, lower chest going forward, upper chest broad, arm reaching. You're remembering your head, either straight down, straight ahead, or straight up. Whatever, whatever's appropriate for your neck. And slow, steady, even breaths, soft expression. One more breath. And then using the top arm to help lift you up. And then let's parallel the feet. So we still want a wide stance. And now feet facing towards the front. Hands to hips. Elbows towards the back. So this automatically opens the chest. Looking up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to fold forward from the hips. And then hands on the shoulders. So if you can't reach the ground, if you have a block, you can use that or maybe a cushion or whatever is handy for you. Just folding something here so you can prop yourself up. If you have more room, hands in line with your feet, fingers facing forward. Beautiful. So really ground through the feet, lifting up in between uh, the instep is lifting up. Legs engaged, so lifting the kneecaps. Six bones reaching towards the ceiling, folding forward from the hips. And then steady breath. Beautiful. And hands under shoulders. Hands to hips, looking forward, and then slowly lifting up. Beautiful. And then stepping together. All right. So now we're going to come into a balance pose. So if you'd like the support of the wall, you're welcome to find a bit of wall space and do it next to the wall so you have... Um, some support, so you, if you, you start falling, you can put your hand on the wall. We're going to come into tree pose. So first of all, I'll show you the, the three different variations there are. And the first variation is at your ankle, with the toes on the ground to help balance the body. And then cup or inner thigh. So whichever variation you choose, choose one in your head and we'll go into it. But first of all, let's take our stance. So we want feet under hips, 
grounding. So finding that connection again to the earth. Spine lengthening, chest broad, shoulders down. So one crucial element with balance poses is your gaze. So looking forward and down a little bit, find something to focus your eyes on, something that won't move, so not me, I'll move. So steady breath, steady gaze. All right, so let's transfer the weight. Transferring, so we want to be grounding, lifting up. We don't want to be hanging out in this hip, so out of hip in. Engage in the core, finding your focus, bringing the hands together. A little bit of pressure in the hand, but I also find helps balance the body. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, you can stay here if you like. Then you can take your arms up overhead and let the tree grow. And then let's bring the hands together, overhead, down through the midline of the body, releasing the hands, releasing the legs. Beautiful. All right, coming back to two feet. Can you feel a notice a difference between the sides? Hopefully the answer is yes. So let's even up. Grounding, lifting up, engaging the core, finding your focus, coming into your pose. And then if you're feeling good, you can stay here or you can take arms, woo! And it's okay if you fall as well. Just get back up. All right, you ready? Taking the arms off overhead and let the tree grow. Beautiful. And then let's bring hands together. Lowering down through the midline of the body Releasing the hands, releasing the legs. Well done. All right, let's come to the front of your legs. Let's inhale the arms up. Bending knees, exhale, folding forward. Hands to shins, inhale, halfway lift. Looking forward, exhale, folding. Let's plant the hands, let's take the left foot back. Inhale here. Ground the hands, pushing back. Downward facing dog. Big deep breath here. Breathe deep into the belly. Hips are high. And then coming forward into plank. Knees can be on or off the ground. Let's lower down. Shoulders rolling down the back. Elbows tucked. Coming up into cobra. Pushing back. Downward facing dog. Big deep breath. Beautiful. Then let's take knees to the mat. And we're going to swing the legs forward. Let's come into the middle of your mat. And we're going to come straight into boat pose, into Navasana. And this is the first variation. But what we want to think about is lifting up out of the lower back, spine lengthening and chest broad. And then you can support your legs and lift them. You can release the arms or straighten the legs. So anywhere here, you will find your variation. So choose which one you're going to do, and then let's lift up. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, let's take uh, soles of the feet to the mat, feet keep this distance apart, pigeon toeing the toes slightly. Let's take hands behind, fingertips facing forward. So really grounding through the hands and feet, we're going to lift the hips towards the ceiling to reverse tabletop. Now we're going to hold five, four, head can be looking at your belly button all the way back. Three, two, one. Beautiful, lower and down. Now let's bring soles of the feet together. So we want to be lifting up out of the lower back, spine lengthening, chest broad. Inhale, lengthen, 
And then we're going to fall forward from the hips. So deepening the fold in the groin from the hips, coming forward. Doesn't matter how far you get. When you reach your point, stop and breathe. Inhale is always your chance to lengthen the spine. Exhale is always your chance to go a little further. You're welcome to close your eyes here if you feel comfortable. I always find that closing my eyes helps tune into my body. I don't get distracted by the times. A slow, steady, even breath. Beautiful and slow, then looking up. Let's take legs out wide. So again, looking up out of the lower back. We want knees, toes pointing towards the ceiling. And this will be enough for some people. And if it's enough for you, just stay here and breathe. If you have a little bit more room, you can walk the hands forward. But again, when you get to your point, stop and breathe. Remembering, inhale. Spine lengthens, exhale has a chance to go a little further. But we don't want to over push it because that's when injury happens. So it may also be helpful to direct your breath to where you feel the tightness and then try to exhale some of the tension, just like we did at the beginning of class. So slow, steady, even breath. Beautiful, and then let's walk the hands back. A little helping hand, grabbing the legs just above the knees, a little helping hand in, Ooh. and then extending the legs long. One more, lifting up out of the lower back, inhale, spine lengthens, knees toned, pointing towards the ceiling, and walking the hands down the legs. So again, we're folding forward from the hips, deepening the fold in the core. Doesn't matter how far we get, when you get to your point, pause and breathe. Beautiful. And then slowly walking the hands back. We're going to come to lie flat on your back. So if you need to, Shimmy forward, do so, because we're going to go five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's bend the knees. So we're going to come up into bridge pose. So we want the soles of the feet onto the mat, heels as close to your buttocks as you can, feet hip width distance apart, pigeon toe in the toe. So we want to focus on inner rotation of the thighs so our legs don't splay up. I'm going to do it three times. So we're going to come up, down, up, down, and hold the last one. So let's inhale here. Exhale, ground through the feet, lifting hips towards the ceiling until we reach the top and slowly rolling down. Inhale, pelvis tilts forward. Exhale, lifting towards the ceiling. Lowering down. Beautiful. Inhale, pelvis tilts forward. Exhale, lifting towards the ceiling. And then we're going to hold three breaths. Maybe you can even watch your belly breathe. So we're grounding through the feet, inner rotation of thighs, hips towards the ceiling. Now once you've had your three breaths, slowly, slowly rolling down through the spine. And then we're going to pause in a neutral spine. Before hugging knees to chest. Beautiful. And I like to make circles 
a few dudes here, just making sure you go in both directions. All right, so now we're gonna come into happy baby pose. So take one knee in each hand, flex the feet, letting the knees part, heels towards the ceiling. If you can, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, bring the knees down towards the underarms, do so. But you can do it anywhere in the lower leg. Happy baby pose. I like rocking. So you can have a little little test for yourself. Some people do, some people don't. So we want to focus on pressing the lower back into the mat, letting the legs part, but aiming for knees towards the underarms. Beautiful. Alright then. Bend the knees, let's bring them back to the mat. Let's drop the left sole of the foot onto the mat. We're going to cross right ankle over left knee, flexing the foot. This is enough for some people. If it is for you, just stay here. If you can, bring the knee towards the chest. We want to try to keep this knee out, flexing both feet. If you can easily grab your thigh, you're welcome to, but if you have to lift and shoulders to do so, don't watch yourself. What is important is pressing the lower back into the mat, flexing the feet, and keeping it small. Flexing the feet just helps keep the legs engaged. And pressing the lower back into the mat. Beautiful, let's go to the other side. Let's cross left ankle over right knee. If this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, let's bring knee to chest. You can use this hand to help keep the knee out. Or coming into the front. And then using this elbow to help, help keep, it, keep this knee out. Still breathing deep into the belly. Whichever variation is appropriate. Beautiful, and then let's bring knees to chest. Let's take the arms out to the side, shoulder height. And then let's drop the knees towards the right elbow. And we're gonna look along the left elbow. So there's no holding this pose at all, just letting the knees drop. And it's like a nice ring out of the spine. I always like to close my eyes in this pose as well. It's nice and relaxing. Gravity is doing all the work for you. And then let's come back to centre. Let's go to the other side. So dropping the knees towards the left elbow, looking along the right. So dropping the knees, even though we're twisting, we still want to be breathing deep into the belly. Beautiful, and then coming back to center, and then letting the legs extend. And now we want to get ready for relaxation. So to get the most out of relaxation, we want to be as comfortable as possible. So for some people that means putting something under their knees to support their knees. Maybe it's turning out the lights, popping something over your eyes. A little bit of weight on the eyes can be very relaxing. Maybe it means covering yourself with a blanket because your body temperature will drop. Whatever it means for you, we want you to get as comfortable as possible. So 
So making any final adjustments you need to, to relax fully into the ground. Making any final adjustments you need to. So we can then be still for the rest of the relaxation. But first of all, I just want you to notice where your body meets the mat. The points of contact are from your body to your mat. And then I'd like you to give the weight of your body to the mat. Because the mat beneath you is there to, to hold you. It's there to support you. It's there to cradle your body. And let's relax your whole body into the support of the floor. And let's start with our head. Let's Relax the back of your head into the support of the floor. Let's soften and relax the skin on your face. Softening your forehead, your temples and cheeks. Gently parting the teeth to let the jaw relax. Relaxing your shoulders and arms. Relaxing your upper back, middle back and lower back. Relaxing your hips. Relaxing your legs. Relaxing your whole body into the support of the floor. And then notice your breathing. Notice each inhale as it enters the body and each exhale as it leaves the body. And let your breathing be soft, full, easy. No effort. As you inhale, silently say in your mind, let. And as you exhale, silently say, go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. And now let your mind relax deeper below the awareness of the breath without concentrating on anything, including the breath. Letting your mind and body relax and let go completely.
And then bring your attention back into the room. Back onto your mat. Back into your body. Noticing once again where your body meets the mat beneath you. Noticing the points of contact. And then allowing some weight back into the body. Slowly allowing the breath to lengthen and deepen once more. And when you're ready to begin moving out of relaxation, gently wriggling fingers and toes, slowly letting some movement back into the body. Stretching or moving in any way that feels good. And then bending your knees, rolling onto your right side and resting there for a moment. And then making your way to a seated position. We're going to be here for a couple of minutes, so we want to make it a good seat. Grounding through the sits bones, spine lengthening, chest broad, shoulders down. You may want to sit on a pillow or a block if you have one. You may even want to sit on a chair or a, a lounge. However you're sitting, spine long. Spine straight and then relax. So for the next couple of minutes, we're going to be sitting in a mini meditation and all I want you to do is to watch your breath. Notice each inhale, notice each exhale. This time we're not trying to control it in any way, we're just watching the natural rhythm of our Closing your eyes if you feel comfortable, otherwise just looking at the floor in front of you. And then when you find that your mind has wandered, you're thinking about something else, just letting that thought go and bring your attention back to the breath. Now you may want to focus on the nostrils, uh, feeling the breath come in and out of the nostrils. You may want to focus on your chest, feeling the breath or your belly. Whatever works for you, you can try and figure out what works for you. So we'll be here for two minutes and we'll start now. And then letting the practice go, let's bring the hands together in front of the heart and bowing your head. I honour that place in you where the entire universe resides. The place of 
peace and truth of love and light. For when you're in that place in you, and I am in me, we're in the same place. Namaste. So thank you for joining me this morning. Um, I wish the rest of the week goes well and I hope you enjoy all the activities. Um, happy Neighbourhood House Week. Thank you.